Today I'm going to build this old-fashioned game table with an ultra-modern tool. Let me show you what I'm talking about. To get this project started, I glued up leg turning blanks and oversized tabletops, all from three-quarter ash lumber. It's bread and butter woodworking, just gluing and clamping. Any kind of hardwood would do, but I happen to love the look of ash lumber, especially with a clear finish. I'm going to turn these legs into simple cylinders, but they're going to be joined with some cross pieces that are going to be mortised and tenoned into each leg. And I'm going to chop those mortises now because it's so much easier to do it when they're square. Turning the legs is also a pretty basic process. They are cylinders with a small rabbit at the top and a short foot at the bottom. The legs have an initial finish applied while still in the lathe. I cut them to final length after turning to get a nice smooth top to each leg. Now for something that I hope you'll find really interesting. I'm going to make my first project ever with the Shaper Origin. It's a handheld CNC routing system. Let me show you what, what I mean by that. The Shaper Origin is like a handheld router with a GPS system. It knows where it is by scanning these strips of tape with the domino images on them. In addition to knowing where it is on the workspace, you tell it where and how deep to cut. The motor goes up and down on its own to achieve those cuts and it won't cut where it's not supposed to. Now the shaper does need some programming to tell it how and where to cut, but you don't need to know any special programs or anything. We just gave shaper a uh, 2D drawing, we sent it to their shaper assist at the shaper hub, and then they sent us back the files, which we're going to use to make this table. You can also get existing files from their shaper hub section of their website. So let's get started. Here I'm scanning the workplace. This tells the shaper where it is in relationship to the tape. Next, I import the cutting program and get ready to cut. I created a fixture with MDF so that I can make all three game boards in the same manner. You'll notice the tape remains on the fixture so that when I slide a new tabletop piece in, all I have to do is put the tape on that surface. It's very handy. The Shaper Origin really worked well when I was cutting out the circles in the Nine Men Morris game. I first cut the outside of the circle with an eighth inch diameter bit, and then I used the pocketing option to remove the rest of the material. It was very slick. So as you can see, I am driving the Shaper, but the machine makes micro adjustments to the router bit to keep it perfectly aligned with the program. But should I drive off the road, the router bit will lift to keep me from ruining my workpiece. Anytime you learn how to use a new tool, especially one that is as versatile and complicated as this one, you gain insight with each new operation. For example, cutting out the perimeter and rabbiting the top of each edge of the tables. I made all four of them for this project using the shaper. If I was to do it again, I would use the Shaper Origin to make a template and then fabricate the four tops by more traditional template routing techniques. It just would have been faster. Now that the tops are cut to size, I'm going to verify the distance between these curves here because that determines the length of our cross pieces and then again the tenons. Once I got that verified, then I'm going to cut the pieces to length, raise the tenons, do the half laps. and then we can join those cross pieces. They join the legs and support the top. Getting ready for assembly. So I just completed a dry assembly process and everything is fitting well together. The half laps are good, the mortise and tenons are seating well and they're tight enough that they're really gonna hold. I'm gonna take it all apart now, apply the glue, clamp it up. I'm gonna use band clamps, but pipe clamps will probably work just as well. Then the next step at assembly is to put this base plate uh, tabletop right on top of it, screw it in place, then it's off to finishing. We're going to add the other tabletops and then it's game time. 
So this is it, the completed table. I think it works pretty well. I really enjoyed building it, especially learning how to use this shaper, which I think is going to be an important tool in the future. It's a compact little game table. You've got several game options. And when you're done playing games, you can just flip it over, and it's a regular table. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.